Michelle Miller here, and I'm going to show you today some books from our favorite author. These four picture books are some of our family's very favorites that we go back to again and again. They all have a fun rhyming text and a sing-song cadence which make them easy to read and memorable. There's repetitive text, especially in Dan the Taxi Man. There's a repetitive beep beep, beep, beep. that my toddler picked up on the very first time we read it. Dan travels around the city picking up different musicians on the way to the show, and you'll have to see the surprise that happens at the end. Dan also makes an appearance in both Busy Trucks and Tow Truck 123, so you'll have to see if your readers can spot him. This newest story features Tow Trucks 1, 2, and 3 as they help different vehicles that are stuck and need a lift. Hooray, it's... Garbage Day! It's about just that. Garbage Day! And all the things that go on as we get ready, and the friendly workers that help keep our cities and towns clean. How good a cleanup morning feels. These picture books would make great pairings with several of our other titles. Make sure you grab a flashlight to check out our shine -a light books and reveal hidden pictures as you read. These are great gifts to give to babies, toddlers, preschoolers, and all those preschool and early elementary school teachers. They also pair really well with a truck, or musical instrument for even more family fun and connections. Poetry is a form of literature in which feelings and ideas are expressed with rhythm and style. And these two books offer that highest form of literature to your learners at the earliest ages with beautiful illustrations to go along with. These poems are easy to remember and fun. My children have memorized several of them throughout the years. Stop That Poem introduces the ideas of writing poetry in a fun way that makes it accessible to even the youngest poets. Eric Odie also has some ideas about how to supplement this book on his website, and I'll put that link in the comments for you to try with your learners. For an extension activity, we love to illustrate these poems as we read them. I will often read a few to my children while they draw some beautiful pictures. Some books that pair well with these poetry books include This is Frog, which has some interactive things for your kiddos to do as you read, like pushing frog the right way up. For older kids, you can check out Write Your Own Poems so that they can journey into becoming a poet as well. Also check out some of our nonfiction and life cycle books, especially One Little Frog. And don't forget, That's Not My Otter in our Touchy Feely series for babies. A final extension would be to grab some life cycle figures and learn more as you go and read some fun poetry about these little critters. It's really fun to grab some blue and green Play-Doh and create a little habitat for them as you read. I hope you enjoyed this look into the books by Eric Odie that we carry. They are amazing and I hope you will grab one or all of them to enjoy with your family. You will not be disappointed and will cherish the memories that you make reading them together. Adrian, what do you like about Eric Odie's books? That they sound like poems. Because I like them because they're poems and Dan takes them to um, walk a joint and they sing and then they're missing Dan and then they go and get them and, and then they sing and the dog barks. Gambling, big, 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 big,